Aviv for a pretty exciting day, some back-to-back -back meetings. Join me. Now parking in Tel Aviv, you know it's gonna be a good day. Now heading to WeWork, back-to-back -back meetings. Uploading yesterday's footage from the GH5. Yesterday was my first day using this beast of a machine. Look how much footage I got. That's about half. I want to talk a little bit about candles. Candles? Yes, candles. When a candle gives its fire to another candle, what is unique about that giving? The original candle loses nothing, right? It gives its fire and it loses nothing. I like to compare that to networking. I've said this to several people. I've heard it from many different sources, but I've said it to a couple of people and they had not heard this comparison, so I figured I'd share it with you. When you give someone access to your network, you lose nothing. You know, someone said to me the other day, people view their network as their power, so they want to keep it close. I genuinely do not understand that mentality. When you give someone access to tap into your network, you make an intro or whatever it is, do you lose anything? No, you don't. The person you're making the intro to appreciates it. You now kind of build a relationship with them. You give them value. The person who you're giving access to in your network appreciates a good intro. Everyone gains. You lose nothing. So I, I genuinely think that it's important to let people tap into your network. Of course, it needs to make sense for both ends and it needs to make sense for you. You don't want it to make you look bad, but it's like a candle. You let someone access your network, you lose absolutely nothing. People should do it a whole lot more. I love the GH5. You know what the problem is though? When you got things going on, the GH5 picks it up. Just saying. I am Ben Judah uh, from BNJ Marketing. You made me some good intros over the years, man. Oh. We just established the intro <laughs> to Natalia, who was in last episode, Minsburg from the New York Times. You know when someone makes you an intro and you like forget because you like become friends with the person you forget who originally connected you and like I forgot that he was someone that connected me. That was like an awesome intro and you just made me another intro. Guess I should announce this here first. You officially made me a writer for Entrepreneur Magazine. That I won't forget. <laughs> so you're, you want to announce your big news here? As of June 29th. June 29th? June 29th. The day after my, my brother's birthday. Oh, happy birthday to him. Well, after June 29th, I will officially be in London. But temporarily, we're gonna get you back here. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean, yeah, yeah? We're getting you back here, man. There's none of this garbage. So I'm a marketing consultant. I work with startups, governments, NGOs, and large companies. Depending on the size of the company, I pull in their different parts of their marketing department, their PR department, HR, biz dev, whatever it is, and basically make the marketing bigger than the sum of its parts. Love it. So you're kind of like the thread between all the aspects of the marketing. I like to call it the unifier. Love it. Is that your word? Did you coin that? Marketing unifier. Very cool, man. All right, well, good luck in London. I'm gonna make some intros for you there. Uh, and if you're it. watching this from London, look this guy up or ping me and I'll introduce you because he's the man. Good luck, dude. Come back soon. Definitely. All right, cool. Heading to Atreo now, one of the top branding agencies in Israel. I was there last week, going there for a follow-up meeting now. And then, going to eat some large amounts of cow. This guy right here, Elon Dre. I'm not gonna introduce him because I always do a really bad job introducing him. Who are you? Founder and creative director of Incode Ipera Digital Agency. Well, this show is, this is my business card. Coolest business card ever. And he just has a favor. He, he doesn't know what he does. He doesn't design business cards. He's a, he's a creative director. He's the man. But as a friend, as a favor, he, he made this amazing business card for me. And it's everyone I give it to is like, oh my God. Which was the point. I guess this was the point of a business card, right? You give someone a business card, you want them to remember you. So he made me this metal business card. It's metal. <laughs> So what we do at Encode yes. is user experience for B2B startup. All right, very cool, man. Keep rocking. Doing Thank good. you very much. And I should say, he doesn't, he's going to get angry at me. I might have to edit this out, but if he lets me say it, I'll say it anyway. In addition to what he does for a living, he does a lot of good for people just for that. He doesn't want, he gets angry at me when I give him credit. He's helped me a lot over the years. He's helped a lot of people over the years. He never wants any credit, so fist bump. It's my occasion to man. thank you too, Hillel. No, no, no. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So this is Toby, the CEO of Proof. Never leaves home without his Proof shirt. And uh, hopefully we'll have some good news today, I'm hoping. But shh, we don't talk about that. Soon to come. There you go. Lunch has arrived. 
was that steak? Firstly, never mind how the steak was, but what an opportunity to meet Hilal. Oh, dude, a great, you're uh, embarrassing, man. I'm blushing. Great, uh, great chat. Secondly, the food was absolutely phenomenal. Here we are, steak. meat toast. Right. I come from South Africa, the land of meat. My name is Ari Kruger. I'm from South Africa. Heard about this one. Just in case you couldn't tell by the accent. I met uh, up with Hillel talking about Israel, talking about the startup nation, talking about please God coming here one day and uh, one joining. day, one what day very this? soon. What is this one day garbage? <laughs> okay, very soon. All right, who are you? How's that, Kiron Kruger from South Africa? I, so I'm, I, I'll never get used to the how's it. I love that. Okay, yeah, yeah go on. Johannesburg, okay. South Africa. I just came here for a, a great meetup, catch up uh, with Hillel, discussing our, our future Aliyah plans. Please God within the. Uh, I uh, won't judge you that you didn't eat the goose. I don't. I won't judge you, man. It was the liver of the goose, not just yeah, the goose. goose liver, yeah, I should say goose liver. But it was, how was that goose liver? It was like butter. Anyway, okay, yeah. yeah but also the carpaccio, nah. that's what it called. The carpaccio was the, the bomb. carpaccio, guys, you have to get the carpaccio <laughs> with a little bit of those, what was what was the other stuff? Cauliflower. Oh, <laughs> mama, Ganei didn't me kid him. <laughs> I love his energy. Wait, so what do you do? South Africa, I'm uh, involved, uh, we do uh, the company called Madison Associates. We actually do the opposite of startups. We do business uh, business rescue, business restructuring, cool. uh, business optimization. So we don't build up companies. We're actually very good at uh, taking companies down. But we want to turn things on its head when we are off here. All right, what do you do? I'm in financial planning. I work for a company called Discovery. I do financial investment and risk planning. Both things you guys can do in Israel. We're going to get you here. You're going to come here. We're going to eat steak like this often. You know what? Here's the deal, and it's on the record. You guys move to Israel. We'll do this once a month. How's that? Uh, well, hold on a second. You I, want a your copy, I want a copy of that. In right. It's on YouTube. On the Thank you very, very much. God bless you. God All bless right. you. All right, guys.